What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Brian Garcia Torado with Leaf Johnson Ford and today we're going to be talking about the 2022 F-150 Lightning and why it's quite possibly the most important truck of this generation. So stick around. Ford announced the intention to produce a fully electric light pickup at the Detroit Auto Show in January of 2019. Many were left with skepticism as nothing like this has ever been done before. Sure, we have had all electric cars for some time now, but to make an all electric truck that could still do truck things seemed like a stretch. Now, if there was an auto manufacturer that can build an all electric pickup truck that could withstand doing truck things, it was going to be Ford. Today I have a 2022 Ford Lightning in a Lariat trim. Now, I've driven this truck from the countryside to the inner city of Austin, Texas, and I must say, I'm pretty impressed. Usually when companies roll out a new model, we get a lot of hidden surprises or it takes some time for the consumer market to really accept the new model. The F-150 Lightning stayed true to all things F-150 and then somehow made them better. In terms of appearance, the F-150 Lightning looks very similar to a gas F-150. The Lightning's giveaway cues include the big light bars in the front and the back, Lightning badges, and the lack of an exhaust rumble. Now, speaking of lack of exhaust rumble, Lightning is quiet like rock your baby to sleep quiet and it rides really smooth over different terrains and roads and that has to do with the independent front and rear suspension. Now in those two axles are where the electric motors are housed that propel the lightning forward and backward. And between those two axles are where the lithium ion battery is housed. Bumpy road. Now the standard range battery in the lightning has 426 horsepower and 775 pound-feet of torque with an estimated range of 230 miles. The extended range battery gives you the 563 horsepower and the 775 pound-feet of torque with an estimated range of 320 miles. Now, up until the recent announcement of the new Raptor R, that would have made the Ford Lightning the most powerful F-150 ever made. Now, the Lightning has set the bar pretty high for what an EV truck could be. It's sort of how we look at the first Mustang and compare it to the current models. It's amazing how much has changed with the help of technology. For instance, in 1965, a Mustang with a 289 cubic inch motor made 271 horsepower and received 17 miles per gallon on the highway. A 2022 Mustang GT with a 5.0 Coyote V8 makes 450 horsepower and gets 24 miles per gallon per highway. With this Ford Lightning being the first all electric pickup truck, there's only room for it to grow and get better as technology continues to evolve. And speaking of technology, Lightning's got plenty of it. We have this massive touch screen, but it does more than just turn the radio on. For example, when you hook up a trailer for the first time, you would input all your trailer specs and then a truck will calculate your range based off the information you input. Lightning also accounts for the weight in the bed, cab, and front with built-in onboard scales. Since Lightning is a mobile power bank, you will find plenty of outlets to charge your electronics. Inside we have wireless charging and full-size outlets. Out back we have 120 volt and 240 volt outlets to power any working equipment you might have. Now one of the key features of the Lightning is the mega power front. Now it sounds like a curse word, but it's not. It's actually this front covered usable storage space where the engine used to be, which makes it even more practical. The front is 14 cubic feet of space with a removable floor portion that is drainable so you can add ice and drinks making it a built-in cooler. It has four full-size outlets, USB-C and USB-A ports. You can power an entire production out of the Lightning. In fact, you can actually power your house for up to three days with the Lightning. Now, as I sit here and think about what the Lightning truly is, it really is remarkable. It has tons of horsepower, it has tons of torque, it's smooth, it's quiet, it's packed with technology, and it's just setting the bar so high for the competitors to come out with a better EV. And that's why I say this truck is the most important of this generation because it is leading the way, it's leading the path that others just haven't been able to do in such a way that's this practical. If you look at the Hummer EV, it's just not as practical as the F-150. And when manufacturers compete, we end up winning because they just continue to set the bar higher and higher and higher. Uh, just look at this F-150, for example. Now, coming from the heart, I've never actually been an EV person. I never liked the way they drive. I didn't like how you let off the gas on certain models and they immediately start slowing down. But what Ford did with the F-150 was really blend the lines of an EV and a pickup truck to the point where you feel like you're right at home. It doesn't 
it feels better than a gas F-150. It's been a joy driving this truck for the last three days. And up until this truck, I haven't really been into EVs as much as this F-150. Now, if you're on the fence of driving an EV or the F-150 Lightning, like I was, you can actually sign up to test drive these mannequins at our Riata Ford location in Maynard, Texas, or our Truck City Ford location in Buda, Texas. So what if you test drive this F-150 and you end up falling in love with Lightning and you say, I gotta have one, but I don't know how to get my hands on one. Well, I'll explain that process to you right here shortly. Now, Ford isn't taking any new orders on the 2022 Lightning, but they will be for the 2023 Lightning. Now, our family of dealers doesn't charge over MSRP on new vehicle orders, and you can place your 2023 Lightning order with any one of our family of dealers as long as you have a reservation. So yes, you do need to be a reservation holder in order to place your order for a 2023 Lightning. And as of today, there's currently no news of new reservations opening up for customers so they can actually place an order. Ford is continuing to convert all reservation holders into orders. As of August 10th, all of the Ford Pro commercial customers will be able to place their orders. As of August 11th, all Wave 1 2022 reservation holders that wanted a Pro model will be able to place their orders. As of August 25th, Wave 2 will begin, which is all the 2022 customers who chose to extend their reservation for an XLT model. And in mid-September is the wave three invitations for all the customers where Ford's trying to finish all of the incomplete orders for the Lightning. So if you are a reservation holder or you're waiting to become a reservation holder, just be aware that Ford has publicly announced that they have over 200,000 reservations and they're estimating to have about 80% completion of those reservations to completed orders where the Lightning is being delivered to the customer. Now, as Ford continues to reinvest in the expansion of building the F-150 Lightning to produce more units, we should be seeing a decrease in waiting periods to reserve or build an F-150 Lightning, but we don't have an accurate time frame of what that looks like. I really hope you guys found today's video useful, and as Ford continues to put out information on Lightning and other vehicles, we'll continue to cover it and put the information out. I really appreciate you watching these videos. If you like these videos, hit that like button, leave a comment below, and smash that subscribe button or check out one of these two videos. Until next time, guys, peace out. Now, I know everyone's joked about it and talked about it, about throwing people in here, uh, but you can't lock people in here because there's actually an escape button. So don't think about it. Reservation holder in order. Okay.